We've got a dash cam that doesn't work. It plugs into the 12 volt power outlet. First thing is to look inside the outlet and make sure nothing is stuck in there. Kids love putting coins in these things. I'm gonna test this with a traditional multimeter, test light, power probe, and Devo, and compare the results from each tool. The way you test these is the outer metal shell is ground and the center terminal is power. Be careful not to short these when testing. I'll start with the multimeter. It shows 12.34 volts, same as battery. This means both power and ground are good. That's telling you to replace the dash cam. Next, I'll use the test light. You need to be careful with these because the long metal tip makes it easy to short. Test light is bright. That means power is good and ground is good. Second vote to replace the dash cam. Now the power probe. The green negative icon lights up and it says zero volts for ground. So that means ground is good. For power, the red positive icon lights up and it says 12.5 volts. So that means power is good. So we have a third tool that says replace the dash cam. I'll use Devo for the last test. Ground shows a green LED and zero volts, which means ground is good. But take a look at the power. Red LED indicates a problem, and that's because there's only 10.9 volts on the power side. So Devo's saying we've got a good ground, but a bad power. Let's find out why. I'll remove the outlet so I can test the connector. I already know the ground is good. The only thing I need to test is the positive side. I get a green LED and it shows the same as battery voltage. That means the problem is in the connector or the outlet itself is bad. Unplug the connector. I'm using a forward probe to test terminal tension and there's a noticeable difference between the ground and power terminals. When I turn it upside down, the ground holds it, but it falls out on the power side. This means the terminal is loose and causing the voltage drop we saw on the power side. This is the problem, not the dash cam. Remove the terminal and use needle nose pliers to carefully close the terminal a bit. Don't go too much or the power outlet terminal won't fit anymore. Check the tension with the forward probe again. Much better. Put the terminal back in the connector, reconnect the power outlet. Before I reinstall the power outlet, I'll double check power and ground. Green LED and zero volts on ground, so that's good. And a green LED and 12.45 volts on the power, same as battery. Everything's looking good. Reinstall the power outlet, plug in the dash cam, and it turns on. If you're wondering why I didn't plug something else into the outlet to see if it works, I did, and it actually worked. The reason the dash cam didn't come on is because it has software that prevents it from turning on under 12 volts to save your battery. The outlet only had 10.9 volts on it, so the dash cam wouldn't power on. If you use any of these to diagnose the circuit, you would have replaced a perfectly fine dash cam and still had the same issue. <laughs>